Hey guys, my name is Lena and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about Juneteenth and the history behind the day. Every year during the month of June, Juneteenth, which is also called Freedom Day, Jubilee Day, Emancipation Day, and Freedom Day, is celebrated and recognized by the majority of the United States. It is not considered a national holiday as of yet, but who knows what the future holds. Juneteenth is a holiday that is celebrated on the 19th of June to commemorate the emancipation of enslaved people in the United States. The holiday was first celebrated in Texas in 1865 in the aftermath of the Civil War, where slaves were declared free under the terms of the 1862 Emancipation Proclamation. In 1980, Texas became the first state to designate Juneteenth as a holiday. Since then, at least 47 states and the District of Columbia have moved to officially recognize Juneteenth. On June 19, 1865, Union soldiers arrived in Texas with the announcement that enslaved people were finally free. More than two years after the Emancipation Proclamation, this order was long overdue. However, without enforcement from Union soldiers, the proclamation had done little to actually emancipate enslaved people. Now, with this new order, people began to immigrate to the North, where they seeked freedom and prosperity. Juneteenth became known as a National Day of Reassurance, and pilgrimage back to the original location where it was announced in Galveston, Texas. Today, Juneteenth represents African American freedom and achievements, as well as a symbol of national pride. So Juneteenth is a date of major significance in American history, where we can both um, educate ourselves on the ways that the African American community has been fighting for freedom and racial equality in the past and how they're currently still fighting that fight today. And it's just a good reminder how even though the African American community has made strides over the past few years, there's still a long way to go in order to reach uh, racial equality. And the saying that nobody's free until everybody's free is kind of an important saying to the Juneteenth celebration. And in the early celebrations of Juneteenth, there is very little interest outside of the African-American community in the festivities. And in some cases, there was even resistance um, in allowing these celebrations to occur on public property. And so these celebrations often had to occur and be held um, around rivers and rural areas and even on church sites. However, when African-Americans increasingly became landowners, more of the land was able to be donated and used for these festivities. And sometimes white landowners would even put a stop to these festivities by requiring that their workers go back to their responsibilities. Um, and while this was the case, there were also some white landowners who would even allow their workers to take the day off for the celebrations or would even donate money and land to the celebrations. And eventually the association with Juneteenth made its way into political marches and fighting for racial equality, especially in the civil rights movement of the 50s and 60s, where many wore Juneteenth freedom buttons. And this is still true today, and especially in the light of the recent protests and demonstrations against the killing of African Americans and the growing awareness of systemic racism in today's society, it's important now than ever to understand and celebrate Juneteenth. Juneteenth is important to me because not only does it mark the end of slavery in the United States, but it marks the beginning of new lives for so many black Americans, new liberties, and it is a significant date that signifies all of the hard work that all of the black Americans paved before me so I could even be here today. So as we consume black media, as we shop at black businesses, as we watch black entertainers and celebrities, celebrities, it's important to note that Juneteenth deserves celebration because without Juneteenth, none of it would be possible.